Well, now to the ongoing debate over so-called attachment parenting and how long is too long to breastfeed. The mother you're about to meet is 50 and breastfeeds her four-year-old daughter up to four times a day. She also says she'll continue until her child decides to stop. <laughs> it's that time of day again. And it's been like this for just over four years. For me, it's not something sensational or something strange. And if that's not enough of a gee whiz moment, prepare yourself for mum's age. I'm 50. And still, four-year-old Amina can't get enough of mummy's breast. I feed her in the morning when we wake up. I give her a feed and at night to go to sleep, obviously. And sometimes during the day, if she feels like she wants to come and have a feed, she just comes and, you know, pats my breast and I, I feed her. That Maha had her daughter at 46 years of age was one miracle. But for her to still be lactating at 50, well... Sometimes Amina says to me, oh, there's not so much milk in that one, Mum. So she changes off to that one. And yes, you know, cycles are changing and different things are happening. But both of them are happy to continue with what they call their bonding time. For me, it's very easy to be breastfeeding coming back to that special place that is familiar, that she knows, that relaxes her. Unlike a newborn, Amina does have yeah. solids, but Milkies is her daily supplement. Me? I'm discreet as well. It's not like I'm sort of sitting there and, you know, going, hey, look at me, look at me. Recently, American mum Jamie Gramey posed on the cover of Time magazine to ask the world, What's all the fuss about? My goal with doing this was to show people that this is a healthy option for your child and it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be stigmatized. And so it was with Maha when today she told Woman's Day it's only natural. I don't sort of have an arbitrary time that I'm saying, you know, now you must get off the breast because society dictates that it's, you know, 12 months or two years and now we stop. It's an age old debate. And he'll go and say me, and I'll go, okay. Back in the 70s, Junie Morosi had an affair with a married deputy prime minister. But much of the country was just as shocked when she revealed she breastfed her son until he was six. I wonder sometimes if that's an attachment thing with the mother sort of letting go. Out on the streets. Nine month old, you'll go as long as you can? Um, yeah, as long as he wants to. Definitely, or when he's ready to stop. The controversial topic once again had opinion divided. Perhaps children come to an age where they don't necessarily need that anymore from you, so um, it might be better off for them just to keep moving on and, and for you as a parent to move on as well. And most new mums brought up one very good point. Personally, I wouldn't, <laughs> and because they had teeth. <laughs> She's a beautiful mother and it's just hormonally and biologically normal for her to do that. Andy Liu is author of The Modern Day Mother and was breastfeeding her child until recently. He chose to wean at the age of two. Andy, like Maha, decided to breastfeed for years for one other reason to build up their child's <laughs> immunity system. Most people think that after six months you don't really need it because that's when solids are introduced, but on the contrary, because antibodies and immune cells become much more concentrated from six months on. And one other thing, Mum says all of this is keeping her young. Once you get to this age, that things don't have to decay and fall apart, you know, that you can still be vibrant and you know, in your femininity. And until that day when Amina says no more, then this is the way it will be, well into mum's 50s. If I can keep doing it, then I just will do it naturally. There are obviously some strong opinions on that issue. We'd like to hear from you on our Facebook page or via Twitter, but please be respectful of one another.